Before I show you how to collect the seeds, let's talk about terminology a little bit. In North America, we call this cilantro, it's the leaves, and we call these coriander, that's the seeds. Internationally, or the rest of the world, mostly call the leaves coriander and the seeds coriander seeds. I, on the other hand, am incorrect in North America and internationally. I usually call cilantro, which is the Spanish word for coriander, I usually call the leaves cilantro and I call the seeds cilantro seeds. I know it's incorrect, but it's a habit that I've had over the years and it's hard to break, so that's how you're going to hear it in this video. Cilantro has to grow about a month and a half or so before the plants are large enough to harvest some of the leaves. As soon as the weather gets warm, the plants will start forming flower heads and you can prolong harvest by pinching those off. Eventually, flowers will form and once they do, tiny seeds will soon follow. At first, they'll be green, but eventually the plant will start to dry out and turn brown. That's when you'll know it's time to harvest your seeds. All right, what I have here are some cilantro seeds and a big saucer for some planters. You can use a tray or anything with a little wall on it. I've got a little spider here. You can use anything with a wall on it that will keep the seeds from rolling out. The unique thing about the seeds is they're round. So what I'm going to do is just start pulling the seeds off. You can just pluck the seeds off individually and put them in an envelope or something, but I don't have the patience for that. So I like to just pull off a bunch of seeds all at once and what you'll end up with is a lot of seeds. Then you'll end up with some chaff, which is the stuff you don't want if you want perfectly clean seeds. I'm not going to be real thorough. I just wanted to show you exactly how I do it. So you can do it yourself if you want. Just move all that chaff and seeds over to one side like so and then the nice thing about the seeds is they're round so you can start doing like that with the seeds and the seeds will come down on this end and all of the chaff is staying up here So, just keep doing that. Some of the chaff actually keeps the seeds from rolling, so move it around a little bit, that helps. Then once you got a bunch of seeds down there, sounds like we got a big truck coming down the highway. Then you just hold some of the chaff on one end and tip it over and your seeds will go into the bowl like so. Then you can repeat that process until you have all the seeds and no chaff. Or very little chaff. You might get a little bit but all this stuff up here we don't need. We just want the seeds. Then you just repeat that process. And if you see some chaff in there, you can go back and repeat it again if you want. Put them all on one side. Roll them around a little bit. Looks like we even made it cleaner. There's some chaff up here. And now the seeds are even cleaner. You can repeat that as many times as you want to repeat it. 
and make it as clean as you want. So I'm going to go ahead and do these seeds and show you what I end up with. All right, I got a bunch more seeds and some chaff. I'm going to do it a little bit faster this time. As you can see, there's lots of chaff over here. A little bit with the seeds, so I'm going to process this uh, group of seeds several times. But by doing it this way, you can just roll the seeds. You can see right there how much chaff I separated from the seeds just in this one little attempt. Then I hold that my hand over the chaff and then pour the seeds in the bowl. Get rid of the chaff and then I'll repeat the whole process again. That's all there is to it. And another nice thing about cilantro is I'm going to take some of these seeds. We're in late July now and Later on, I'll plant some of these seeds, and cilantro overwinters very well in our area. So by having some in the ground, I'll have some fresh cilantro that I can go out and get through the fall and winter months, which makes it really nice. And then early spring, it'll start growing uh, as soon as the soil warms up. Once I have all of my seeds harvested and cleaned, it's time to label and store them. I'm going to be storing them in a plastic envelope here. I put the name cilantro and the year, 22. And it's pretty easy to get them in the bag when they're in a paper bowl like this. I just fold the bowl a little bit and they pour right in. That's plenty of seeds for me. And then this is uh, where I store my seeds. I'm about to run out of room, but I just find the box that this one goes in. It will go in herbs. I have a few other seeds that I saved. Here are some basil seeds. Just put it in there, close the box have all my seeds in one place. I got this storage box online. I've heard some people say that they have them in hobby stores. I've never checked, so you can check there if you want. And if you want to look at this particular box, I'll put a link down in the description so you can do that. And I'll leave a link to the labels and bags too, just in case you want to look at those. But that's all there is to saving and storing cilantro seeds or if you want to be correct about it coriander seeds let me know if you give this a try and how well it works for you and if you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe thanks for watching we'll see you next time